Hi, my name is Andre and welcome at YourGuitarWorkshop.com. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at an acoustic, uh, Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Originally, it's not played on an acoustic, it's played on an electric, but I checked out an acoustic version. Uh, I believe it was when he was playing on Alan's show. And awesome song, he plays it all by himself. And um, yeah, I think this is a great version to, uh, to check out. If you're into playing great guitar songs, whether they're old from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, or new, then you've come to the right place. I do a lot of stuff like that on both acoustic and electric guitar. If you want to make sure to get updates, make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. To support this channel, you can go to patreon.com slash yourguitarworkshop and support the videos that I make over here. The basic chords are G and G5. Uh, in the intro, he has sort of this uh, embellishment here a little bit where he plays uh, C over G. Then we have uh, E minor 7, C add 9, and D sus 4. Now for the E minor 7, what I do is I have my ring finger in 3rd of the B and index finger in 2nd of uh, the D, which is enough. Then for uh, C add 9, I have those same two fingers there, but I add my middle finger in 3rd of the A. And for D says 4, you keep your ring finger where it is, put your index finger in 2nd of the G, and your pinky in 3rd of E. And there is also a D in there where you make a hammer on to D sus4 with your pinky. But we'll get to that in a second. All right, so let's get into this song. What do you do? You start off with a regular G. And for this G, I just put my ring finger in third of low E. And the picking pattern that I'm playing is. So I'm playing E, D, and then G and B with thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. Right? So the first bar I do that twice. Second bar I do that once. And then what I do with index, middle, and ring finger, I play D, G, and B. I make a hammer on with my index finger in first and my middle finger in second position. Index finger is on B, middle finger on D. And there I get that C over G. Then I play D string with my index finger and the middle finger and ring finger play G and B. It's like this. Once more. So those two bars go like this. Three, four. Then the next bar I play the same thing. And then, then I just Keep alternating between playing index finger D and G and B with my middle and ring finger. It's like this. One and two and three and like that. So those two bars before we start the verse go like this. One, two, three. So let's do those uh, six bars of the intro together. One, two, three, four, five, six. All 
right, so now we land into the verse. There you start with a G5 chord. So instead of having that open B, we're playing third position of the B string, which is a D. There you go. So what is good to know is that uh, thumb plays everything on either um, E or A, unless otherwise indicated, so E or A, and index finger plays everything on D, middle finger plays everything on G, and ring finger plays everything on B. So what do you play? You start with E, then D, then G, and then G and B together, like this. Then you play D, G. So that bar goes like this. Four, five, six. Now note that on beat number three, instead of just playing the G, sometimes he plays D and G, so like this. So I'll leave that up to you, whether you want to do that always, or if you want to do that sometimes, or if you just stick to the first one. So here we, um, and the second bar is, by the way, the same as the first one of the verse. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you switch to E minor seven. So you put your index, you leave your ring finger as is and put your index finger in second position of the D and you play the exact same picking pattern. Then you leave your fingers in place and add your middle finger in third position of the A string. And there we play the exact same picking pattern, only now the bass is on the A string. So we play. And then in the last two bars of the verse, you go to the D. So for that D, we have middle finger in second ring of the E, ring finger in third of B and index finger in second of G. And then you play, uh, thumb plays D, then index finger plays G, middle finger plays B, and then you play ring finger E, and you make a hammer on with your pinky in third of that E string, so like this. Then index finger plays second position G to B string like this. Then you play that D sus4 because this has turned into a D sus4 now with that pinky in third. You play that chord once more playing D, G, B, E, G, B. So those two bars go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try to play that verse together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that verse is repeated four times, and with the exception of the third time, they're all the same. The third time, the last two bars are a bit different. So instead of playing that, you play G again, and then that last bar D says four. Right? So if I would start from that C at nine. And that would be the end of the third time you play the verse. Then you would play it once more in the original way and then we would move on to the chorus.
right, so now for the chorus. How do you play that? You start off with that E minor seven, and you play the exact same picking pattern as what you did before. So, then switch to C at nine, same picking pattern to G five, same picking pattern, then D sub four. So everything is the same, how you play the chords and which with, with which fingers, it's just arranged in a different way. And instead of playing each chord twice, you just play it once. So you get three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then after the chorus, there's sort of a little bit of an interlude that will lead you back into the intro. And that is played like this. So what do you do? There's a few extra chords in here, or at least, uh, I mean one. So you start off with G5. Then G5 with F sharp in the bass. So instead of having that middle finger in third of the E, you go to index finger second of E. Then you get that E minor seven to D sus four to C at nine to D sus four. So what do you play? You start off with playing E with your thumb, D with your index finger, and that middle finger ring finger play G and B. So then the same picking pattern, but now with index finger in second of the low E. Then you go to E minor seven, same picking pattern. And then we go to D sus four. And then the picking is thumb plays D, index finger plays G, and then ring finger plays B and E. So those two bars, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go to C at nine, and there we play uh, A, D, G, and then G and B. Then we play D, and then B. So. And then the D sets for the way we played at the end of the verse. So those four bars together. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now, when we get to the outro, so after this, you go back to the verse and then you go to a chorus and that re chorus repeats. And then after the last chorus, we get the outro. And let me play the outro for you first and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. So here we go. Um, so what do you do? You play that C add nine and you play it three times the way you've always played it. So two, three, then go to D sus four. And then we get that interlude that we played after the first chorus.
that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're into playing great guitar songs, whether for acoustic or electric, whether old or new, then this is a great channel for you. Make sure if you want to keep updates, um, get updates to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon. And um, yeah, everything that I get from Patreon is poured directly back into um, stuff that I use for making videos on this channel. That's all I have today. Um, I'm working on a couple of new things, um, some acoustic tutorials and uh, the solos to Sweet Child of Mine. So if you were waiting for that, then uh, stay tuned because that's coming up very soon. Wishing you a great week and I hope to see you again sometime.